Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I'm going to show you a setting on Roka Slicer that not many people use. Let's scratch to this topic. Recently, I have been testing calibrations on Roka Slicer. This cube is one of Roka Slicer's test cube, which is an X, Y, Z cube. Test the X, Y, and the Z. This cube tests the X, Y, and the Z to see if they has the same accuracy and similar size of what was modeled. It also has this screw on the bottom here, this one it screwed in very nicely with just one change in the setting. This was the first one that I printed and as you can see here this screw is very very hard to screw it in. That is like super tight it's not going in and if you look at the bottom here I use a plier trying to force it in. I did kind of get it halfway through but it's like super stuck in there. You might say that well just change the tolerance when you are modern this but let's say you just down this from online somewhere and you print it and this is a problem there's a screw here that you cannot screw it in well i got the perfect solution for you on orca slicers there's this one setting that you can change and it will give you the result like this you can screw it all the way in very nice and smooth without any modeling without any changes to the model and now for that let's head over to orca slicer and i will show you this setting finish printing the second one so let's see if this one will fit hey look at that it fit all the way in very smooth very nice we are in orca slicer the setting here i'm going to show you here we're going to go to quality scroll down to precision right here once we are in precision we can come down and look at this x y hole compensation this if we read this hole and object will expand or contract in the x y plane by the set value positive makes hole bigger negative makes it smaller what we need to do here is make this number a little bit bigger i'm going to show you the before after i'm going to slice the plate right now if we look at this one right here it's right the circle is like that so if we go back here and i'm I'm going to put one, slice the plate again. You can definitely see that the circle is so much bigger and there's no line in the middle anymore. So it expands the hole by one millimeter. But that's not what we want. That will just make it a lot worse. So for this, you really want to test the amount of millimeter that you're going to increase or decrease. In this case, I'm going to do 0.1 millimeter. And if we slice the plate again, you can see that this came back and the circle is a lot smaller now it went from here all the way to up there and now it's only a little teeny tiny bit bigger the circle expands our by 0.1 millimeter as you saw there the x y hole compensation is a really useful setting so that you can get prints like this without ever remodeling the model you just change that one setting and i believe not many people actually uses this setting because i search online stuff like that but people don't really talk about this setting on work assessor they just talk about how you can model the hole differently make some cutout do some offsets to the screw yes that is all true but like i said earlier if you just download a model like this from somewhere online and you don't really know how to model or change the file you can just use the x y hole compensation setting and adjust according to your 3d printer tolerance just one quick setting and you can make the tolerance perfect with the screen like this but that'll be it for this video comment down below if you still have any questions leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to become a member of my youtube channel and as always keep on 3d printing